cutouts refer to when a different type of sheep are coming into the shed. Might be an age difference, might be a sex difference, could be a breed difference, could also be a difference of owner. There's lots of different things that determine a cutout. Now we have two sorts of cutouts. We have a water cutout and a mob cutout. A water cutout deals with the same mob of sheep which have been in the shed for over 24 hours and the owner would like those sheep to go out for a drink so at a certain point there'll be a break and all of those sheep prior to that must be shorn out. Then the fresh ones can come in behind them. A mob cut out is simply that you shear all the sheep in one mob. Now a mob is defined as the same breeding of sheep running under the same conditions for the previous 12 months. Sometimes you're not going to have the leisure of being able to have an empty pen. Might be storm clouds coming in, so you've got to jam the sheep up into the shed as many as you can get in to keep them dry, so, or of a night time. So there's different ways. Piece of wire, put the wire around the gate, just twitch it off, make sure you turn the ends down and get them out of the way so people or animals don't hurt themselves on it. There's also, you will see this from time to time, please don't do it. One of the biggest contamination risks in our industry is baling twine. Never use baling twine to tie off on a cutout or old gear ropes from the shearing plants. You can see there's loose fibres there. We don't want those fibres floating around the shed, getting into the wool and con contaminating the clip. So whatever you do, wherever possible, leave an empty pen. If not, use a piece of wire to tie off for your cutouts. That way everyone in the shed knows, the grower knows, and the rest of the staff in the shed know that that's where the cutout is. So use wire or an empty pen. Never baling twine or ropes.